will break down the secret of Hunger Games set more than a hundred years in the future after America has been collapsed is an artificial system where the population has been turned into feudal slaves living at a subsistence level. It is the essence of Agenda 21. The suboid slaves are played off against each other in gladiatorial diversions. This is directly out of the globalist handbook. There you've got uh, Mr. Sutherland, uh, one of my favorite actors, on a jumbotron screen in a police state dystopic future at the Hall of Justice. Already at Walmart, Small America, and thousands of locations, giant jumbotrons are there with Big Sis, a uh, asexual creature, telling us that we all need to give our rights up because terrorists, Al-Qaeda namely, that they publicly fund to attack other nations, uh, is 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 hiding under every desk wanting to get us now continuing here uh, with this film now that I've had a chance uh, to uh, research it and go over it this is really a piece of anti-establishment propaganda because you've got the 10 FEMA regions the 10 governors this plan globally to have 10 regions with 10 sub-regions per sector across the world. This is really the UN model. And when you read the biological diversity assessments, they talk about bringing back gladiatorial games to teach people to fight with each other, not with the state. And having big centralized governments over the 10 global regions with 10 sub-regions per region. Uh, and you have a central government per 10 regions that plays the sub-10 regions off against each other via gladiatorial games. So the writer of this fiction book, uh, she's really got a deep understanding. And by the way, we're going to end up contacting her. We're trying now. But seeing the film, I can guarantee you that if she's not an InfoWars reader and Alex Jones listener, uh, that uh, she is a deep researcher into the New World Order and the system they want to set up because the 1996 UN Biological Diversity Assessment, I covered it in my 2002 film, Road to Tyranny, says they would have gladiatorial games, reintroduce human sacrifice, teach the people to fight with each other. Now this film is basically from my notes, Robin Hood meets Romeo and Juliet meets 1984. And it is Agenda 21, where the central government over the subregions is artificially cutting off resources and executing, imprisoning and executing people who were caught killing a rabbit, killing a deer so they get food for their family. And the society has been artificially collapsed so that everybody is dependent on the central government that has the resources. Uh, you're not allowed to farm or ranch for your own good. This is what the New World Order is about. This is what Agenda 21, Behind the Green Mask, and the book that we sell at InfoWars.com uh, breaks down. This is what the corporatocracy is calling for. This is what Maurice Strong in 1992 and now this year is calling for, a post-industrial world with these high-tech reservations that are government and corporations, with the rest of us living in squalor outside of that, but unified by television broadcast of the giant gladiatorial games. Now, in part two and now part three coming out, the books, I haven't gotten to those yet. I'm talking to fans of it, though. I've got friends and family that are. It's more of a message of revolution against this. So Hollywood, in its desperate attempt to stay relevant, is more and more adopting the culture of resistance to these uh, eugenics, post-industrial uh, deindustrialization cult and people are really starting to wake up so that is exciting and we'll have some more reports uh, and reviews on the Hunger Games also saw a film on DVD that I think is pretty impressive called uh, In Time with Justin Timberlake of all people but it is a powerful message of the elite being able to live forever but needing to reduce population to do it because you can't have too many people that's also what this is all about and we're also going to be reviewing here with a sneak peek months before it's out. Coming up this Thursday, Prometheus, the Ridley Scott film. So you want to stay with us on that. But you know, I wrote a lot of notes here. I kept hearing about the Hunger Games, too busy to get focused on it. Now I've had a chance to see it. It's got Woody Harrelson in it as one of the trainers of the people that are involved, as one of the winners of the Hunger Games, where you've got, again, children, the youth being sacrificed by the central government in a gladiatorial event. That's the tropism developed by every other 
authoritarian system in history, whether it was the Aztecs, the Babylonians, the Greeks had human sacrifice, the Romans, that's what the gladiatorial events were. Now, all of this human sacrifice in every single culture, ritualized warfare, because the elites are basically culling the population. This is an ancient truth, and that's why Hunger Games is so powerful. Any film that is extremely successful has a couple things behind it. A, the system pushes it. But more importantly, B, it has to trigger archetypal truths that we already know are there. And finally, it has to be presented in a powerful fashion. And so I'm not saying Hunger Games is even good in the final equation because the system has put it out to people. They believe the public so dumbed down, this will condition people to accept this future, which is what the UN and others are actually pushing. It's incredible. This is something they're actually pushing, a, real, uh, a, 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 a rewilding, going back to primitive times, gladiatorial events, human sacrifice. The UN actually calls for this cutting off resources artificially to control populations because a true renaissance of clean energy, new systems, free energy systems threatens the monopoly. So the elite who are facing that are deciding to go into a new dark age where they have life extension and they have all these new systems, but, but that's blocked off from us. We're in a new dark age. They ascend to the next level with the Promethean fire. That is their plan. The question is, will you let them do that? You see, they know that you can never be given access to any of this or even know that it exists or you'll completely rebel and they'll lose their monopoly of power through the technological revolution because technology's a multifaceted sword with hundreds of edges. It's not just double-edged, good or evil. It has a fractal design of six dimensions of possibilities and, and we make the future. That's why they want us walled off in this matrix-like system of American Idol and NFL totally feeling inadequate via the Madison Avenue brainwashing system with endless recruiting ads showing women rebelling against their boyfriend by shaving their heads and marrying the state and joining the Marine Corps. We're going to show that tomorrow night. I mean, sick stuff. So you can be injected with binary weapon systems and die young and be chewed up by DU. The system wants to destroy the family so we all marry the state and join the hive collective that uses us as uh, human resources. Another term hidden in plain view. So again, the system thinks they're throwing it in your face and you're weak and you'll just accept this as what's coming. I believe that when you see the facts, you will be enlightened and take action against the globalist. You're like, well, how do I bring them down? You don't bring them down by yourself. You resist, you rebel in small ways and we kill them by a trillion cuts. The globalists are doing that to us incrementally. We resist them incrementally as well. Resistance is victory. Let me give you tonight's quote here uh, with this jumbo edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Okay, so tonight's quote is from Bob LaFavre, a uh, Alex Jones of decades ago who's now deceased. Government is a disease masquerading as its own cure, and he's the father of the Freedom School uh, he founded that, and we stand on people like Bob's shoulders. So we commend you, Bob, for all your work, and we say hi to you. Uh, they're watching from Valhalla.